Hi everyone, in today's lesson we're going to talk about advanced factoring techniques. Before we can actually get into the factoring, I'd like to review a few things. The first thing will be the exponent rule of raising a power to a power. So when I'm taking x squared and squaring it, or x squared and cubing it, or x to the fourth and squaring it, I want to know what the rule is. The rule is that you are multiplying the exponents and keeping the base. So we're keeping the base of x, that's what I mean by base. So this first one will be x to the fourth, second one will be x to the sixth, and the third one will be x to the eighth. Now keep that information on the back burner, we're going to use it in a little bit. But now see if you can try these next two examples. See if you can factor each expression using guess and test. We've done this before, so pause the video, try it on your own, and then hit resume when you're finished. Okay, these should have been your answers. Please make sure you recognized that this piece here is dots, so that's why I went a little bit further and I factored it using a difference of two squares. Okay. Now I think we're ready to try that new advanced factoring technique called u-substitution. Now first you should notice that this trinomial, both of these trinomials, are exactly the same as these two trinomials up here. I'm just trying to get you guys used to a different method. Do I want you to factor these trinomials using u-substitution? Not really. I would prefer it this way, but this is kind of like a preliminary so that we can get the back page of this worksheet filled out much easier. Okay, so our goal is first to make these trinomials look like ax squared plus bx plus c, the basic form of quadratic, meaning, say an example, x squared minus 5x plus 6. You want it to be x minus 3, x minus 2. That's so easy to factor because the leading coefficient is 1, so all we need to do is figure out what numbers add to negative 5 that multiply to 6. So again, our goal is to take these trinomials and make it so that it's an x squared term, so it's easier to factor. So the first thing you want to do is say I need it to be something squared minus 7 times something plus 12. So the first thing you want to look at is this x to the fourth up here. Basically, you want to say to yourself, what do I have to square to get to x to the fourth? And you should be saying x squared. And you're going to leave this here because, look, it's x squared again. So this blue stuff is going to be your substitution. So you're going to let u equal x squared. So now you're going to rewrite this trinomial. So let's rewrite it as u squared because, again, I let u equal x squared. So every time I see an x squared, I'm going to put a u. So minus 7u again plus 12. So now I'm going to factor this just like regular. It's a trinomial with the leading coefficient of 1. So this is simply u minus 4, u minus 3. So now that I've factored more simply, I'm going to substitute back in. So whatever I let u equal is what I'm going to put back. So I let u equal x squared, so my final answer would be x squared minus 4 and x squared minus 3. And again, this is dots, so this here is x plus 2, x minus 2, and x squared minus 3, with this being my final answer. Now I know what you must be thinking. This is a very confusing way just to do the same thing that we did right up here. But it has a purpose, so I want you to understand it. I'm never going to make you factor these types this way, but just try to understand the purpose of what we're trying to do. We basically want to write, rewrite this trinomial in ax squared plus bx plus c. So what I did was I wrote it as x squared squared, and that is what I decided to let u equal. So I rewrote it with u. x squared equals u, so I substituted u. And then I factored this trinomial using u's. Once I factored it as much as I could go, I'm, I substituted back in what I let u equal up here. So I substituted my x squared back, and then I finished simplifying. Okay, 
Well, let's try to do example number two. I just realized that there was a typo in example number two. Please change this to a negative 20. This will also change the answer up here. So if you were realizing that these factors didn't work, you were correct. I meant it to multiply to a negative 20. So negative 5 times a positive 4 multiplies to a negative 20. And negative 5 plus 4 is a negative 1. So please make that correction. Okay, so in this problem down here, using u substitution, we want to write it as something squared minus something minus 20. Now here I put a 7 in front of the x squared because it was a 7 here. Here I'm not putting anything because there's no number. Okay, so what number squared gives me x to the 8th? You should be saying x to the 4th. And again, we're going to leave the middle one. We'll leave that x to the 4th there. So now we're going to let u equal x to the 4th. Now watch, every time I see an x to the 4th, put a u. So it'll say u squared minus u minus 20. That's what I'm going to put here, u squared minus u minus 20. Now this enables me to factor straight x minus, uh, u minus 5 and u plus 4. Now just like we did before, we factored as much as we can, and now we're going to substitute back in. So we let x to the 4th equal u. So every time I see a u, I'm going to put x to the 4th back in. So it will be x to the 4th minus 5, and then x to the 4th plus 4. So again, everywhere I saw a u, I put back in my x to the 4th, and now, if you look, these two problems have the same answer. Okay, so like I said before, don't worry so much about it, but these two were kind of like exercises to prepare us for the last page. Okay, you should notice that these look very funny. First instinct is to distribute all this stuff out, but the directions say express, express each expression as the product of four linear factors. This is a key word here, underline it, Though, so if they're asking you to write it as four linear factors, they want you to factor this. Now, you should be recognizing, or at least the first thing that comes to your mind, is that these are the same. And doesn't it look like something squared minus five times something minus something? This is, in a nutshell, your x squared, your ax squared plus bx plus c. So this we can do using u substitution. So whatever is the same is what you're going to let u equal. So let u equal x minus 2. So now, everywhere you see an x minus 2, you can put u. So u squared minus 5u minus 6. Now factor this just like regular. This should be u minus 6, u plus 1. So now that I let u equal that, I'm going to substitute back in. So I let u equal x minus 2, so x minus 2 minus 6, and then x minus 2 plus 1. Now all you have to do is simply simplify. Negative 2 minus 6 is a negative 8, and negative 2 plus 1 is a negative 1. So this is your final answer. Okay, let's try the second one. Actually, I'd like you to. You guys try this, model it the same way this problem was, and then hit resume when you're finished. Okay. This should be your answer. I'd like to go through it. So again, you want to analyze the parts that are the same, so this part and this part. So that's what I'm going to let u equal. So u is equal to x plus 3, and then I made it u squared minus 2u plus 1. That's where I got this. I then factored the trinomial using u's, and I got u minus 1, u minus 1. And then I realized that I could plug u back in. I substituted it, and I got x plus 3, which I let it equal, and x plus 3 again, and then simply added these or subtracted, and I got my like terms, and that's it. I could even write this as x plus 2 squared. If anybody wrote that, that's acceptable as well. All right, let's see if we could do example number 3. Alrighty, uh, I will do the first one with you and then you'll do the second one on your own. 
So we're going to let x equal this, or excuse me, we're going to let u equal x squared minus x. So now everywhere I see this, I'm going to put a u. So u squared minus 8u plus 12. And now we can factor simply using am. So I believe this would be u minus 6, u minus 2. And now it's time to substitute back in what I let u equal. So I let u equal x squared minus x, and then make the minus 6. Again, x squared minus x, and then now minus 2. So again, from here and here. So notice this one's a little different. I actually have two trinomials that I could factor again. So this will be x minus 3, x minus 2. And this one will be x minus 2, x plus 1. This could even also be written as x minus 3, x minus 2 squared because of these two, and x plus 1. So that's an answer, or this is an answer. Okay, why don't you see if you could do the next one. Again, hit pause, try it on your own, and then hit resume when you're done. Okay, here's your answer. All right, so if you didn't get this question right, that's okay. Why don't you write down the things that you were unsure about, and we'll go over them in class tomorrow. All right, have a good night.